Oh, oh, hey, Vern. Uh, today I'm going to tell you all about scary things. I was just reading my favorite scary ghost story. You can sit on the edge of the bed and listen, Vern, but don't let your feet dangle over because the, the boogeyman might grab you. And as he stepped down into the cellar, the bloody hand slowly crawled across the floor. He felt a cold wind across his cheek. And a lonely voice cried. And a big furry hand started to cross his face and... <laughs> uh, just relax, Vern. It's just a scary story. There's no real boogeyman. Hey, Vern. Today's your lucky day. We knew you wouldn't want to oversleep, Vern. We only do it once a week, Vern. Me and all the other guys, Vern. We even brought the pies, Vern. Yes, you're in a speed war with a story and a moral and a big chuckle hit trip double dip super duper green show. You know what I mean? Oh! Hey, Vern, we moved your furniture and now we're gonna fire up the barbecue, Vern. We owe it all to you, Vern. But now you gotta move, Vern! Hey, Vern! Hey, Vern, it's me! I'm on TV! Hey, Vern, it's scary things. Hey, Vern, I've decided to take matters into my own hands. This boogeyman has terrorized you long enough. It'll ruin your childhood, Vern. Now, you are looking at the genuine article, the Ernest P. World Boogeyman Trap, designed to strike fear into any creature that would dare to dwell under your bed. But first, the bait. Tiny shoes, Vern. We are talking pre-adolescent footwear. They love pre-adolescent footwear. Well, first I gotta make one small adjustment. It's dark under there, Vern. I'm not scared or anything, but would you mind grabbing my feet? Vern, grab my feet. Vern, and I... Oh, I see him, Vern. I see the boogeyman. Oh, he's horrible. He's, he's insincere. He's got a bright yellow face and, oh, and little beady eyes. Oh. Me and my brother Bobby here just love Halloween. Ain't that right, Bobby? I especially like the trick-or-treating part. Bobby's kind of scared of trick-or-treating. I think he's a fraidy cat or something. <laughs> yeah, I get all dressed up and ready to go, and he's always lagging behind. Ain't that right, Bobby? Now, this year, I told him he's going to be fast, and if he's not, I'm going to leave without him. Ain't that right, Bobby? Bobby! Happy children, laughter, beautiful flowers, warm puppies. There's too much kindness in the neighborhood. I know. I'd become a dentist. All it takes is a diploma, a good attitude, and, and membership in a prominent country club. Anyone could become a dentist. <laughs> Hey, Vern, it's me. Fooled you, didn't I, Vern? And it'll fool the boogeyman, too. You see, Vern, the boogeyman will think this is me. But when he grabs me, he will pull this rope, which will release a boogeyman-proof net, and the boogeyman will be ours. Now, Vern, the boogeyman is sure to hit the garage because it's dark in there and damp, and it smells like worms. But lucky for us, Vern... The great Ernest P. Worrell does not know the meaning of fear. Fear, Vern. Fear. F-E-A-R. Noun. The feeling of being afraid. Hi. Matt Finisher, photographer at large. 
with the help of about 40 plastic bats, some candles, and those tombstones back there, I'm going to take a picture of a real ghost. You ready? Lights, please. Now, kids, we're just going over to the Johnsons for dinner, and I'm sure you'll like the new babysitter. Her name is Auntie Nelda. She's supposed to be a real screen. Oh, good. Here she comes now. Hi, kids. Boy, are we going to have fun together. First, we're going to comb the tangles out of our hair with a metal brush. And then, if you're very good, we're going to floss. Shh. Hi, I'm Ernest Tug. I think we're at the dentist. I really don't like it when Ernest goes to the dentist. We got. Uh oh, we're opening wide. Oh no. It's a shot of Novocaine. Dentists are always giving shots of Novocaine. Laugh, laugh! Oh, no, I'm going to go numb and Mr. T's going to biting me. Oh, I really don't like it when artists go to the dentist. Then the pecan pie oozed across the table, lingering closer and closer to the child's elbow. Then it... Oh, hi! Hey. Oh, hey there, Ernest. Oh, How about a haircut? I was reading a little book. Have a seat. Sure, I'll lower those ears for you. Ooh, you're looking pretty shaggy, aren't you? Gosh, Earl, do you remember the first haircut you gave me? Oh, well, of course I do. Well, you were three years old. Boy, you were pretty scared, weren't you? <laughs> I wasn't scared, Earl. I was just a little anxious. Oh, yeah. But a first haircut can be kind of scary. Boy, you can say that again. I'll never forget the first haircut I ever gave. Now, that was scary. <laughs> it sure was. All right, Ernest, how much you want off today? Well, just a little off the top and kind of thin out the sides. Uh-huh. All righty. I want you to make me look like you did when I was three. Like a little Wall Street tycoon. Oh, okie dokie, Ernest. You just hold real still there. Now, don't don't get excited. Hold it. Hold, well, it, right hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right. We got that now. <laughs> There you go, Ernest. Take a look. See what you think, huh? Ah! Earl, I said I wanted you to make me look like a like a Wall Street tycoon. Oh, silly me. I thought you said a, a baby baboon. It, but what do you think? Do you like it? It could work. Haircut! Ah! Hey, Vern. I just got to go down and... Change that old burnout light bulb in the basement, you know what I mean? Sure is dark and scary down there when the light bulb burns out, isn't it? Verna, uh, you didn't happen to borrow my flashlight, did you? You know, the, the blue one with the batteries in it? Well, Verna, I, I just gotta go for it. I'm going in. It's me or mean old Mr. Darkness. I gotta be brave, huh? I gotta be a boogeyman warrior. Well, wish me luck. Ernest, Ernest, run for your life. It's, it's the boogeyman. Ah! My father, the clown. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Mom, are Skeeter and I identical twins? No, Eddie, you're what they call fraternal twins. What does that mean? It just means that you're not exactly alike. thought you'd forgotten their birthday. Birthday? Oh, that's what it was I forgot to remember. You did not oh. know. <laughs> Where'd you get them, honey? All oh, right, a seltzer bottle. Wow. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Skeeter, you be careful with that. Oh, sweetheart, it's only seltzer. Right, Skeeter? Right, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Last night, my mommy told my daddy not to talk so loud because the walls have ears. I thought the walls had wallpaper. Boy, grown-ups sure talk funny. Know what I mean? <laughs>